Hi and good day. I want to talk about something that all of us will wear sooner or later. It may be at the beach, maybe at camp, maybe walking around the house, or maybe all day. And that's the problem. Flip-flops. Using flip-flops for our feet is not good. Now, if you're going to use it periodically, maybe go to the beach, maybe at the pool, walk around the house, temporarily it's okay. But to wear these things all the time, to make your day wearing a flip-flop instead of a supportive shoe, it's going to cause lots of problems. Now, flip-flops are scarce. They're inexpensive, they may look cute, it may be quick and easy to put on, but there's no heel support, there's no arch support, and there's very little cushion. And now, if you're gonna wear these things because there's no heel support, you're gonna notice that you're spending a lot of time walking on your toes because if you have complete heel strike like a cushion within a shoe it's okay but if you notice the back of your flip-flops look at the cushion look how thin it is and that's a big problem now there is little protection you look at sun rays how many people put suntan lotion on their feet very very little so therefore, you're getting bad ultraviolet rays on the skin, can cause sunburn, lead to skin cancer, and cause more complications. Also, fungus, bacteria, viruses, you're more prone to get infections than wearing shoes. I bet you didn't know that by wearing flip-flops, because the toes are grasping those flip-flops when you walk, and the knuckles of your toes are overworking, it's very common to get hammer toes. And those are ugly. That's when you see a lots of swelling and thickening of those knuckles of the toes. As a result of that, bad arch support. Plantar myofasciitis, or plantar fasciitis. This particular condition, the arch of the foot, because it's fallen, because it's dropped, because you have no support, you're putting excessive stress from the forefoot underneath the foot all the way to the heel. You can have burning, uh, particularly when you get up, difficulty walking, lots of pain because of improper arch support. Now, who would think that flip-flops can be toxic? Hmm, we would never think of that. But realize that flip-flops have a plastic strap in many of them, not all, which can be made of latex and this causes allergies because it's irritating the skin and certain people are reactive towards it. But plastic also contains BPA, which is a toxin that's linked to cancer. Now, we're not saying that all flip-flops are linked to cancer, but we are saying that there are certain kinds of plastics within flip-flops that could be linked to cancer. Now, what about heel pain? You can get heel spurs by wearing flip-flops all the time. There's no support on the heel. Where there is compression, where there is imbalance, it's called Wolf's Law. When the bone is under stress, it continues to grow. So therefore, these flip-flops do not have a lot of cushion, none of them, usually in the heel region. So if you're using your flip-flops continuously and you're putting excessive stress on that heel, that can give you a lot of problems. And I saved the best for last. It's called poor biomechanics. That wearing flip-flops can affect your knees, your hips, your back, your mid-back, all the way up to the neck area. Why? Because your feet have no arch support. They come inwards, they become pronated, the arch falls. Therefore, when it falls, the knees come closer together. It puts imbalance on the pelvic, affecting the pedal foundation all the way up the spine. So if you're having chronic back problems, you notice that the disc condition you have is getting worse, or you notice that you feel like you have one leg longer or shorter than the other, or even having pain going up to the neck, potentially even causing headaches and other symptoms, you might want to consider it's coming from below. Remember, everything that goes on below, everything above has to follow. What's off below is gonna be off above. So there you have it about wearing flip-flops. I hope that you learned something. I ask you to share the video. If you have questions, put them below. And most important, make it a great day. 
I'm Dr. Alan Mandela.